All right. Well, welcome to the world of Qualis Guard. Now, with Qualis Guard, you basically have uh, some nice options available. Uh, you can check out their website, which is going to be uh, Qualis.com, and then from there they uh, basically have uh, you know some information regarding what they do. They have some free tools available that you can check out and so forth. Um, pretty neat stuff. You can again check out their website for additional things that you want to look at. Also on their training and support, you can go into their product training under online library. It is going to be a, in this case, a web browser based scenario. And here they give you kind of introduction to the user face, the mapping, scanning, and so forth. So you guys can check that out at your own uh, convenience there. Again, it's uh, qualis.com. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate this and we'll do a scan on it and see how it goes. So basically what they'll have here is um, their different options. We have uh, our navigation menu here which uh, shows us our dashboard. Uh, right now we really don't have anything set up because I haven't run a scan yet. We also have uh, our tools board here where they recommend that you go into the user accounts, create a user account uh, for each user that will be doing the scan and so forth. Again, this would be unique to the users. That way if you have different auditors and so forth doing the, the scanning and so on, that will allow you to do that. Uh, we have a search list that you can search through. You can do scanner appliances. You can do a ton of information here, um, activity logs, knowledge base, uh, and so forth that you can utilize. But the main things that we're going to look at here real quick is to kind of just see how it looks. All right, so what we want to do here is we'll go right to scan. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click new, scan. And then from there, we're going to give it a title. Let's call it mile two. Uh, we have options profile. We can basically select the default, or we can go in and look at um, the 2008 SANS 20 options, payment card industry options, your PCI compliance, as well as your Qualys top 20 options that you can utilize as well. You can also import from library, password testing scan, firewall scan, authenticate scan. Um, let's, let's do maybe some of this. Let's put that in there, make global, all good. So we're importing that in as part of our option profile here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select IP address of 206.214.216.214. And let's go ahead and click launch. All right, let's do a scan here. Scan successfully launched. Now, as we uh, look here, you can actually see we have it running on the status. All right, you can kind of check here on some of the things. Now we can actually view what's going on here as soon as it's completed. And uh, the status right now, again, is still running. So what we're going to do is, um, as we saw here, we're going to look at the password testing scan. Right, and we want to make sure that this is running. So what we're going to do is let this run here for a few minutes and see what it comes back with. What we can do in the meantime, too, if you wanted to view what the, what the status was, it's currently been running for about a minute and 45 seconds. And this may take a few minutes to complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it run here, and then I'll come back with what we found. All right, it looks like it finally finished. And as you can see, it took an hour and 12 minutes and 15 seconds. And let's go ahead and view that and see what it looks like. Generate any report, and there we go. Okay, so it tells us the report summary, and it tells us here uh, what it used, how long it took, and so forth. It told us that we used the password testing scan version one options, and it tells us some of the potentials, the severity of those, as well, different categories. As you can see here, we, we have five severity two levels. we have one on a severity three no other data available here and here it gives us some additional information regarding the vulnerabilities that are there that we have possible cross-site scripting weaknesses SSL certificates we also have some other potential vulnerabilities you can see there and also some other information that it gathered 
uh, as well. So as you can see, it gives us a uh, you know a lot of information that we can utilize, and it's all right there, pretty straightforward. Now a nice little feature here is that we can also download the file into different formats as well. So we can here do it as a PDF file, as a HTML page, and from there we just choose what we want, click on the download, and it'll download. These scans may take a while, depending on what type of scan you're doing. So keep that in mind. Uh, specifically too, if you are trying to scan a, a network of computers, that it may actually take a while for the scan to be completed. Make sure that you have plenty of time allocated to do this. There's also some other things we can use uh, on the scheduling where we can actually schedule tasks. Here we can, for instance, look at the SANS Top 20 report, look at uh, remediation, asset search as well, at risk analysis. So there's definitely a lot of different things that are available within Qualys Guard. Best thing to do here is to contact Qualys Guard. Just go to their website, and from there, just go down to contacts and just shoot them a report in regards to maybe one of their free trials. So here we basically go into vulnerability management or even web application scanning, fill out your information, get your 14 day free trial, and then from there somebody will contact you in regards to if this is a good fit for what you're doing. As you can see here too, there's there's lots of reporting features that are available. That is your Qualys Guard for you.